one. Hey, my name is Marcus Smith, and I'm here at Arnold's Bar and Grill. I'm with Gratitude Space, and this is Chris. Yes. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris. <laughs> so, Chris, this was your first time joining us at yes. Arnold. That's correct. So, you didn't know any of the history or anything about my establishment. I knew nothing. I didn't nothing whatsoever. I'm so clueless. Okay. I was so clueless. So go ahead. So there, this is probably the most iconic place in Cincinnati, and the reason being is that the bar has been here since 1861. So we have been around since Abraham Lincoln Civil War, so you know, dealing with slavery, and then to go from that place, we've gone about 156 years. So we have gone over 29 U.S. presidents five wars, two recessions, two depressions. So you've gone from civil war to civil rights to Barack Obama, which is a feat in itself, and we're still standing strong. We have evolved throughout the years, and you know, going from that time when Simon Arnold bought the building, it was um, built in 1838, and then opened the bar. It was a gentleman's shop on the bar side, and then it was a feed supply store on the other side. Um, and the stables were out there in the courtyard where you ate this evening. So great spot. A lot of fun. It's probably our most iconic place to go. Uh, you have the stage and everything. Um, Simon owned it, passed it on to his son Hugo, and Hugo unfortunately passed away a few years after. His wife inherited the business and had to get really creative with a gentleman's bar. So she allowed single lovely ladies to live above her space on the second floor where we're sitting right now. Ladies lived here. Okay on the third floor, who enjoyed the company of a man for a very short time for a very reasonable price. So we became a speakeasy for a period of time. So her children inherited that business sense, and as small children, they learned to use the bathtub that they bathed in, that we're sitting in, uh, to bridge in it during Prohibition. So the booths that are downstairs were built in the 1920s, um, and they bridge in for during the Prohibition. You know, they were German heritage and they were not a fan of everything legal. So the family owned it for about 98 years and it's said to have the last Arnold uh, owed a few dollars from the Mafia here in Cincinnati and uh, he decided to sell the business very swiftly. Uh, it's been passed on to four owners since then. Probably Jim Tarbell is our most well known for and we have one room in the other space that is named after him and he was a politician really phenomenal guy. He wanted a place for his buddies to come and pull crap. Um, and I'm really hard to be <laughs> G-rated. Um, pull crap. And um, so he built the stage. He really found it a, as a phenomenal space. So you can see how many footsteps have been through the building over the 156 years. And uh, he built the stage. And a woman came and worked for him in 1985. Her name was Rhonda. She worked her way up from a server to a cook to the owner now, and she's owned the bar ever since for the last 17 years, and her son is the general manager. And so he will own the business, and the new family generation will begin here in Arnold's. So it's phenomenal. So as I said, you know, we have gone through time, and you know, our biggest thing is that we try to use as much local um, items, um, and that's important to us. We use local beer, we carry everything that is important to Cincinnati. And I think that's what really makes us a place. Plus, we've had a couple movies made here, one with Bruce Willis a couple months ago. Oh, um, wow. We had one with uh, Kate Blanchett, uh, um, with Carol, and then the last one, uh, oh, Harry's Law with Kathy Bates. Uh, the show rebuilt our bar in, in LA. And that was really phenomenal. So we have a little bit of everything here. That's great. Well, that was thank you for sharing that. That was that's the man right here. Yeah. So well, okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back here and go, I'm Chris with Marcus saying stay grateful and go to Arnold's in downtown Cincinnati.